also for the AI, as you can see here, for some people, they will be asked, uh, like the, the, their customer will ask them the same question every day. Yeah. The FAQs. Yeah. They can just put the FAQ here and then generate like here, generate a AI agent and the AI agent can help them to answer the question and also help them to collect the list. If there is no such FAQ, then the AI agent can help you to collect the list. Well, at least the question, right? When people ask questions to the chat bot, it will collect these questions. And then who has to fill in? I mean, someone has to fill in the answer in the first place. Yeah. Uh, for example, like this one, we, we have built it. AI table, the homepage here. We have built our own. I asked a question, which is not in the, the data set. Uh, who is Bill Gates? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's supposed no need to answer this question, right? It's not, yeah. it's irrelevant with your business. Yeah. So send it. Let's see what happened. Okay. I can't directly answer this question. Call it real refer. Oh, okay. Here, here, here is some problem. Actually, it should pop up the list collection. Hmm. Um, let me see what happened. You, you know what I get a lot of in sales, you get RFPs. If I'm a company selling an enterprise product, very often buyers are looking at three or four companies all selling the same thing. They would come up with a spreadsheet of questions that they have, maybe like 30, 40 questions that they have okay. that they're going to send to four different vendors. This way it saves them a lot of time without, you know, doing a lot of meetings and asking these questions. So, so they call these RFPs, re oh. re requests for like product information, basically. So as a salesperson, I would get this lit, this spreadsheet with these 40 questions and have to go manually fill it out. Okay. But as you say, customers always pretty much ask the same questions based on the type of product you have, right? It's always the same type of questions you get over and over again. So rather than a chatbot format, AI can actually read the RFP and just fill in the table because it almost always comes in a spreadsheet. Jen's on the left in the second column for the answers. This is usually you receive these questions from the customers. Yeah. Yeah. And then I need to answer it. And I need to answer it and then email it back. That this situation, let me think how we can solve it. You would have to have AI. Well, I think the way to, for our product to achieve this, I think we're going to do it to add a new column named the AI column. We, we just launched a button column here. Hmm. What is that? Okay. As you can see, uh, button you see style and automation workflow. Oh, to trigger a workflow. Right. To trigger workflow. For example, uh, is, do you know, in some situation you need to send a contract to, to your customer, right? Yeah. If you click the automation, it will help you to send it. Oh, I see. Click to what? extract the contact info, the email. Yeah. And then start the contract or format the contract a certain way for me. Yeah. After you submit your contract and then you think everything is done, you click the button and it will help you to send an email, send the contract to, to the customer. 